If you're new here, hi, welcome. I'm Lisette and guys, one year, one entire year, I've managed <laughs> to do the diamond painting stash detox. And I'm pretty proud of myself. And uh, well, if you're new here and you're like, okay, what's a diamond painting stash detox? I'm trying to work through my entire stash without buying new diamond paintings. Is that hard? Yes, that's pretty hard. If you want to know more about it and you want to see it from the beginning, go up to the eye so you can watch the entire playlist. But for the ones of you that have been following along, thanks so much. You're my accountability and guys, check her out. She's really beautiful. This is one of my finishes, mini caged from Anna Dittman. And today I'm going to show you all the finishes from my first year of stash detoxing. And um, I just got her out of storage because guys, I just do diamond paintings for the fun of doing them. I don't hang them in my house. So this is the first time that I see her again as well, after I finished her and she's so beautiful. Okay, and do you remember the closet? This closet is where I started my diamond painting stash detox. Inside are all the remaining diamond paintings for my stash that I still have to do. So my stash is in there. I'm going to show you that next week. Today I'm going to show you all the finishes from my first year. So shall we take a look? Okay, let's go. for my diamond painting stash detox Sagittarius from Josephine Wall this is part of the Zodiac series from Josephine Wall and she is one of my favorite artists to diamond paint her diamond paintings tend to be very confetti heavy confetti means that you have a lot of color changes in a small area this is from Diamond Art Club and Diamond Art Club version and it's just Stunning, look. And I particularly loved the dress. This is the diamond painting from Diamond Art Club that I did because I wanted to compare the dress to my diamond painting Deutschland uh, Josephine Wall. Uh, that was the one of the biggest diamond paintings I have done so far. This one is very beautiful too and it's a 70 by 88 centimeters and unfortunately this kit has been discontinued. So you can't get the zodiac signs anymore at Diamond Art Club because Josephine Wall is no longer licensed by them. Oh, just a heads up, all the diamond paintings that I'm going to show you today are legally licensed diamond paintings from premium diamond paintings com companies. Okay, on to the second one. This is actually my unicorn diamond painting. It's one of the princess panels. And I really, 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 really love it. Look. It's, what's the size? I don't know the size, sorry. 42 by 125. It's a round diamond painting. It's isn't it? Yes, it's around and it's the fairest of them all from Diamond Art Club. But this, guys, the princess panels are discontinued, so this one's no longer available. But I had mentioned it uh, in one of my uh, videos, and a fellow creator gifted this to me. So this is one of my favorites of all time. It's so beautiful and I like working on the panels because I like the the width. It's just really easy and with Mandy Manzano the stained glass feel and it feels like coloring. So I just do the black outlining and then I color the rest. Loved working on this one. Okay, next. The third one I did was healing from Ser Sharon Cummings. And, oh, have I mentioned that the, 
The first of them all is a Manny Manzano. I think most of you know that, but just to be sure. Um, this one, though, is a partial. Look, you don't drill this part, but the colors in here are just beautiful. And it has 39 colors and it's around. I really loved working on this one and I really love the end result. Look, the sparkles in here, the AB, which are the drills with an iridescent coating. I'll zoom you in just to show you. Look. Look. See that? That white that has an extra sparkle. They really did a great job on that. So it emphasizes the wings and I really really love that. And this one is still in the collection of Diamond Art Club. It might be out of stock but then you can just uh, ask to be reminded or you can just leave your email and they will send you a reminder once it gets back into stock. I really love this one. Really beautiful. Also Diamond Art Club 39 colors round. Partial. The next one Talisman from Anjuli Aubry, 51 by 66 centimeter around again, 34 colors, again from Diamond Art Club. I really loved working on this one. I think the halo around her head, they did that really, really pretty. The rendering is fantastic. I love the, the flowers, everything about this diamond painting. This was so much fun to work on and there are quite a lot of browns and normally I don't like to work with the color brown but in this one I didn't mind at all. Beautiful diamond painting still available might be out of stock but still available on the website of Diamond Art Club. Another one that has been discontinued this is from Mary's Diamonds. This one is from Alina Lazariva but this one is no longer available on Mary's Diamonds. I haven't seen it anywhere. It is around 48 colors. It's the one and only Mary, Mary's Diamonds that I have in my stash. Um, the colors are really fun. I really like the rendering. It was quite confetti heavy. Uh, but it was fun to work on. And I do think that the end result is pretty great. Maybe the shading in her face is a bit weird. But when you look at it from afar, like you're supposed to, it looks beautiful. And all the fruit in here and this. Yeah, it was just a really fun diamond painting to work on. Love it. 48 colors and sorry guys, no longer available. This is a crystal canvas art design. So these are all crystals and this is the breast cancer ribbon and well you can see it the whole background is this is so confetti heavy guys <laughs> but it's really beautiful it's licensed artwork by natalie natalie meckham 34 colors 40 by 80 centimeters and this was uh it took me quite a long time to finish it but it turned out stunning and I really liked working an all crystal diamond painting. I have another one from them in my stash, which has, well, pretty dark colors. So, and I think it's about the same size. So it's a bit daunting because I know how much work goes into finishing one of those, but I do really love the end result. And of course the breast cancer ribbon, well, I think it's a really meaningful diamond painting and also I really love the way it is rendered. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It is still available on the website. So if you want this one, go check out crystalcanvas.us. All crystals, look. Okay, next. A really small one, Nefertiti, a diamond art club again, Mandy Manzano, 32 by 58 centimeters round. Okay, quite a lot of rounds. Um, and this is small but confetti heavy, a lot of color changes, some special drills. It's a really popular diamond painting. Um, it is still available on um, Diamond Art Club, maybe it's out of stock. 
really enjoyed working on this one. This is a great, well, snack size kind of diamond painting, but don't be fooled, it is confetti heavy, but it is really stunning. 31 colors. Okay, another Josephine Wall, Aquarius. Okay, guys, I really didn't plan on getting this one, let alone work on it. <laughs> this soon after finishing Sagittarius, um, it has 61 colors, a square, 70 by 89 centimeters, Josephine wool. Uh, the only reason that I bought and did this is because a Sagittarius is the star sign of our youngest and uh, Aquarius is the star sign of our eldest and when she saw me working on Sagittarius she said, oh, you're working on the star sign from Anik. Are you going to do mine? And I was like, e yes, of course. <laughs> I didn't have the heart to tell her that I was doing Sagittarius purely for the comparison of the dress. But um, I bought this one and I promised her that I would start it immediately after finishing Sagittarius. So that's what I did. I worked on the other diamond paintings in between, but this one was on the go on the side. And I actually prefer this one to Sagittarius. Why? Because in Sagittarius, you have a lot of browns. Look, you have a lot of browns. And here you've got all the purples and the blues. And I really like the... Oh. I really like the orchid that you see over here and this one was just really fun to work on. Oh and guys, just so you know, I have stored all these diamond paintings away. I am not that careful. I rolled them with the drills on the outside and absolutely no popping drills on the Diamond Art Club diamond paintings. None. They are all perfect and I must be honest, even for the other companies, Practically no drills that have fallen off. I think the most damaged one or where I see a couple of drills missing is mini cage, but the other ones are all in perfect condition. Okay, just so you know. Okay, so this one is discontinued as well because, well, Josephine Wall is no longer with Diamond Art Club, but it's a really pretty one. So if you have her in your stash, Go try and work on it. So I did two Josephine walls in my first year of stash detox. So I think that's quite an accomplishment already. <laughs> right guys, and there she is. She's such a beast. <laughs> Mini case from Anna Dittman from Heaven and Earth Designs. Guys, this was a really special painting to work on. Look at the cage on her head with all those butterflies and all the details it was a lot of work it had i think it has 90 colors and oh guys i don't even know the size from the top of my head i'll include it in screen sorry uh it's a square it's a heaven and earth designs uh crown jewel canvas so that means that you uh get the canvas with the symbols printed on it. So it's not a conversion, it's just you get a real diamond painting only you don't get the drills. So the drills I got from Smith Beats in the UK, uh, the quality was good and um, also the, the canvas, this is my favorite canvas to work on. It's, look, it's almost like a painting it's thick and it's almost the, the, like a cloth that painters use. I, yeah, this, this was a labor of love, but look at the detail in the crown. This is the most spectacular finish, I think, of me, of this year. I think this is a really special one, a beautiful one. Well, now that I'm looking at it, guys, I'm like, okay, I have finished maybe not that many diamond paintings in one year, but they are big. <laughs> this one's really, really big. Okay, so that is promising for the way 
for the ones that I still have to do. <laughs> Maybe I will work through them a bit quicker than I anticipate. Who knows? We'll see. And this one is available on Heaven and Earth Designs Crown, Crown Jewel Canvases. And uh, you just need to get the drills yourself. Okay, next. I am Brave from Lisa Francis Judd, 51 by 61 square, Diamond Art Club, 36 colors. And guys, this one's really special to me. I really love the meaning of this diamond painting. The background of this diamond painting is absolutely fantastic. I did a three-in-one video of this one. I'll put a link over there so you can go and check it out. But what I did is I finished the inside first and then I did the outside so you could, could see what difference the background makes. But all these flowers and all those pretty greens, really, really cool. At the moment of this filming, this one is in the last chance section, which means that it's a final edition and once it goes out of stock, it won't come back. It's been with Diamond Art Club for a long time. So if you want it, go and grab it if you can. Maybe it's no longer even there once this video go, goes up. I'm sorry. Uh, but this one I really love. And also when I did the unboxing of this one, the artist herself, Lisa Francis Judd, uh, commented on it. So I'm really honored with that as well. So this is a really special one to me. I really, really love this one. Okay, next. Lunar Pollen! Oh, she is so pretty. Yeah, this is one of the diamond paintings. The image of this diamond painting is one of my favorites in my entire stash. She's just so pretty and it was uh, quite confetti heavy to work on. You've got a lot of different kind of shading, but it's a DIY moon shop. It's still available on the website. Um, the thing is though, with these kinds of diamond paintings, you get a watercolor effect, I think, and you get a lot of shading and things like that. But in order to get that, you need a lot of confetti. I really, really love this one. I have quite a few Diamond Art, oh, Diamond Art, DIY Moon Shops in my stash to, to do, but I think this one is one of my all time favorites. So I really wanted to do her in my first year and I finished her and she's so pretty. Look at her face, her lips. Wow, in her eyes. I really, really, really love that one. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. If I were to hang any of my diamond paintings, this would be the one. Just so you know. <laughs> but even she's not going on my wall, but yeah, this is my kind of art. I believe it's a 50 by 65 and it is a round. All the DIY moon shops that I have are rounds. And I had a special treatment. So that I and that I put in the butterflies as you can see the blue the blue sparkle. Love her. Sandy <laughs> from Micah Jelena uh, 97 by 51 centimeter around Diamond Art Club 43 colors and this one is so much fun. The colors are popping and bright and my kind of color palette all those purples and pinks and teals and I really like her with the <laughs> uh, Shirley Temple kind of curls and she's a mermaid and a fairy how cool I really enjoyed working on this one sorry guys this one has been discontinued so no longer available but if you have her in your stash go Put it on top of the pile and work on it as soon as you can because she is so much fun. Okay, next. Okay, this is Arrival from Dimitra Milan. 56 by 69 centimeter round drill. Um, 
Yeah, I have done a post review. This was the first diamond painting that I did from Diamond Arts Club that was a bit disappointing to me. I just don't think that um, the rendering style that Diamond Art Club has, they hand render everything. Uh, maybe for this diamond painting wasn't the best solution because I really don't like the way her face turned out. I think she's got a bit of a pick, pig's nose. It has 57 colors. It has been discontinued. I do like Dimitra Milan's artwork. There are still a couple of other diamond paintings from her still available at Diamond Art Club and I, what I've seen so far the rendering is way better so maybe they had the same thought and well weren't totally pleased with the rendering of this one. Some people do like it, I personally don't. So guys I'm just giving you my honest opinion. This one was a bit disappointing for me. But she's a finish! <laughs> So I did her, okay, next. The one and only landscape diamond painting that I have in my stash. Seaside Dreams, legally licensed Chuck Pinson, 90 by 60 centimeter square Dreamer Designs. Sorry guys, this one's no longer available because Chuck Pinson is no longer with um, Dreamer Designs, only with Diamond Art Club. I really hope the Diamond Art Club will bring out this diamond painting because I had so much fun working on it. And guys, I'm sorry, I'm just realizing I'm showing you a lot of discontinued kits. I'm so sorry. But if you do have this one in your stash, oh guys, I really enjoyed working on it. And this one makes me want to get more landscape diamond paintings once I'm finished my stash detox. This was the first Dreamer designs I've worked on. I absolutely loved it. The drills were perfect. I had no issues whatsoever and I really liked the end result. So, look how pretty. Seaside Dreams. 53 colors. Did I say that already? I don't know. 53 colors uh, square. And another one from Diamond Art Club. Around Athena. Willowing Arts. 51 by 66 centimeter and same story guys discontinued sorry pretty but I uh, preferred the rendering of this one from uh, mindfulnessdiamondpainting.co.uk uh, I'll show you another finish from that company from another diamond painting but also there you can't get it anymore because that diamond painting company has closed down. So unfortunately this one is nowhere available anymore. Um, and even though I preferred the rendering of the other company, I really like this one. It's pretty. Just a pretty. Only The only thing is I don't like the really stark grey hairs. Uh, and some shading in her face is a bit too purple for me over here. But when you're looking through the lens, it's okay. The background's really pretty, and the owl, of course, is really, really cute. And I like Willowing Arts. I really like that art style. That's I really. This is the kind of diamond painting that I really like to do. Had really a lot of fun working on it. Uh, Forty-three colors. Make a wish and take a bite! This one was so much fun to work on, especially the bodice. Guys, the bodice, I said that the fairest of them all, the other uh, panel, was my unicorn. I really prefer the face because the problem with this diamond painting is the face. I have changed it a bit, I've changed the eye and I've changed the mouth and I've also changed the crown. I've used a lot of sparkles in there. Um, but I like the bodice of this one. I think it's the most beautiful bodice. Maybe of all the panels. Oh, although I really like the Queen Elizabeth dress as well. Well, that's not an official panel. And I don't see this one in the official panels as well. So I don't really get why not. But this one... 
is still available at Diamond Art Club. It might be out of stock, but if you want to do a princess, kind of a princess panel, maybe not one of the discontinued ones, but would like to try it, then I could really recommend this one. It's a Mandy Manzano 42 by 106 and it's a square. And it works up really quickly and this is really beautiful. And the top is beautiful as well. Right. Okay, this is the smallest diamond painting in my stash. <laughs> it's a 30 by 37 DIY Moonshop, uh, Cati de Lance, and it's called Water Star, 35 colors, and it's really cute. Look, this is what I mean with the watercolor effect. For this one, this is perfect, and it's well, it's a bit small, of course, but I just wanted to try one small diamond painting. But guys, I'm for me, it's go big or go home, as you may have noticed with all the other diamond paintings in my stash. So this is the smallest one, this and Nefertiti. So what's remaining in my stash is all larger and this is the only small one, but it's a cutie. Right guys, are you still with me? We're almost there, no worries. This is Aussie girl. Oh, she's so cute. 70 by 89 square diamond art club this one is in the last chance section from for diamond art club it's a final edition so if you still want it go and grab it it's uh, at the moment of this filming it was still available in the last chance section of diamond art club but well maybe by the time you see this it's already gone but it was really fun to work on. The only Hannah Lynn that I have in my stash. The background was quite a lot of color blocking. I'm not a color blocking kind of person, but the, the hair was confetti and you can do a lot of line blocking. And the bottom part is beautiful as well. It's just a really beautiful, fun diamond painting to do. Really, I really enjoyed working on it. And I understand why people like working on Hannah Lynn kind of diamond paintings. For me it's a bit too cartoonish but I wanted to try one and I really liked working on this one. And this one it's a 70 by 89 I don't have I said that already and it has 50 colors. Okay guys this is the coolest diamond painting that I have in my stash. Distracted by diamonds Geneva Bowers neon. Well I pfft, I don't have to say anything, you can just see she's badass. I really love this one. The hair, so much fun. The colors to work with, 34 colors round, quality perfect. Pfft, I love it, I love it. I love Geneva Bowers. This is the only Geneva Bowers that I have in my stash. I have three more Distracted by Diamond Diamond paintings in my stash, but I do think, no, two squares and one round. Uh, this is the smallest one. This is a 50 by 50, I think. Sorry, 52 by 56 centimeters. And she's fun. So if you have her in your stash, well, I would suggest go work on it. She's fun. Love it. And then this one. Oh. Well, I have mixed feelings on this one. 50 by 65 round mindfulness diamond painting, willowing arch, legally licensed, butterfly queen. Guys, I really love this diamond painting. But the thing is, at the moment that I posted the post review and I was raving that I really loved it and it was really confetti heavy, but totally worth it. And everyone was, well, there are a lot of people who don't like the company because there are rendering issues and I really enjoyed this one. So I was like, okay, maybe give them another chance. <laughs> and at the day that this went up, the post review, uh, I received an email that they closed down. So this company no longer exists. Um, I really enjoyed working on this one. Uh, I think I'm lucky that I got one because there were so many mixed reviews from this company. They weren't consistent, maybe that's the word I'm looking for. 
This one was 38 colors, really confetti heavy. It took me a long time, but I, I, I'm just in love with this diamond painting and the way it turned out. I think it's absolutely stunning. I think she's beautiful. A willowing art, the way it's supposed to be presented. Um, I really, yeah, I like the shading, the hair, everything so beautiful. The hands, the butterflies, the background. It took me quite a while to work on this one because it's so confetti heavy. Uh, but, well, she's stunning. Right, and then this one. You probably have seen this one yesterday, if you watched my video from yesterday, where I did the monthly check-in. Um, this is a Treasure Studios art, a mounted adhesive, which is different from the port glue. All the other ones are all port glue. Treasure Studios art, uh, 35 colors round with the white background and well guys i can just only say i really love this one look at all the details in this one and as i have explained in the post review of this diamond painting you, this one is really special to me because it symbolizes inner strength and well i just really really love it okay and then the last one are you ready guys this one! <laughs> a partial from Diamond Arch Club, Buddha Deep Serenity, 33 colors around. And guys, well, this is um, a very special diamond painting because this is one that I had to put aside because it was so terribly boring to work on. Um, but as I have said on my channel um, last week, during a uh, kidding down and chat. I don't like loose ends and well so this one was in my stash I was just working on other things and I just kept thinking oh I need to finish it I need to finish it so I thought you know what I don't want to go into the second year of my detox and still have to finish this one so I powered through guys and it's finished the end result is beautiful so that's not the point. And the colors are beautiful. But it's uh, my least favorite of all the diamond paintings in my stash. Well, that's just my opinion. Uh, the end result is still beautiful. Okay, guys, have you counted? Well, if not, there was a thing over here the whole time to show you which number of finish it was. And this is 22. So I managed to finish 22 diamond paintings in my first year of the stash detox. Right guys, so that was it. <laughs> All the finishes that I managed to do in one year. And I must be honest, now that I have seen them all displayed and one after the other, I'm like, I finished some beautiful diamond paintings and some pretty large ones and now that I'm thinking of it if the stash that I still have to do I don't think there are many of the large ones left so maybe I'll go a bit quicker but I must say I have spent a lot of time diamond painting this last year and maybe the coming year I won't have as much time uh, to do so. <laughs> so I'm, I still got a long, long way to go. I think I need two more years. That's what I'm thinking. So the idea is I hope to have finished my stash detox if I can keep going uh, by the end of 2024. My three years detox anniversary. Hopefully I'll be finished by then. 
That sounds so long. I still have so many diamond paintings to do. All right, guys, let me know. Do you have a favorite? Which one is your favorite? Do you have some of these diamond paintings in your stash? Uh, also, what I really noticed is when I was talking about them that I do have quite a lot of diamond paintings that have been discontinued. In my stash, in my remaining stash, I have quite a few diamond paintings that have been discontinued as well. I'm so sorry, I hope you still enjoyed watching them. And if you have them in your stash, well, maybe you would like to get to them. Now that you've seen the finished version, uh, I always like to see the finishes. And uh, well guys, I hope to see you next week because then I'm going to show you the stash that I still have to work through. Right guys, I hope you give me a thumbs up on your way out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye guys.